Hello everyone, hope you're keeping well. Today's topic is neuroplasticity. Now, any of you who have browsed some of the uh, internet forums, Facebook groups and so on, will have come across the word neuroplasticity. So, what is it? Well, it's, it's basically the brain's ability to reorganise itself to reorganize neural connections and neural pathways and it's something that happens from birth onwards and if you think of um, a toddler learning to walk most of the time the first thing that happens is the young person starts pulling themselves up on furniture to stand up and then they start shuffling along the furniture and they have a few falls and they get up and they dust themselves down and eventually they can walk a few steps oh. just had a just had a flashback to uh, my first video physio session <laughs> and um, they can walk a few steps and then they fall over and then eventually they they learn and they get older and then they eventually they can walk okay and then they get a bit older and then they learn to run a little bit and then they get a bit older and they learn that they can run and turn and move around but going from a few initial tottering first steps to running around the garden chasing after the, 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 the pet dog you're probably going from say roughly 18 months to five six or seven something like that let's call it six years and in that time all of those movements are being burnt into the brain neural pathways neural connections are being set up so that with practice over time the toddler learns to walk learns to walk competently learns to start running learns to start running competently learns to start running really really well to the stage where they get to say let's say eight nine years old where they can run around like a nutter and be talking and shouting at their friends and doing other things as well because the running and the balance part has been done so many times those neural pathways are just super fast connections and they just happen because they've been practiced and practiced and practiced some people talk about muscle memory which is rubbish muscles don't have any memory it's the brain that has the memory and it's the brain that's sending the signals to the muscles so that the person in this example can run around that is neuroplasticity which is why I say neuroplasticity is learning and maybe the child has some kind of accident and they have to kind of relearn some of these things that again is all neuroplasticity that's maybe new neural connections being made to replace the old ones and that's where we are with brain injury we have brain damage some of the existing neural pathways neural connections that we've built up over years to do whatever gripping something walking balance whatever have been damaged have been broken those connections have been wrenched asunder so our brain has to find new ways rather than the connection as was that's no longer going to happen because there's a damaged bit of brain so there has to be a new path found which may take longer and we go from day one, uh, sorry, day zero, the day before the brain injury, where we're quite happily moving around, doing stuff, all the rest of it. We then go from day zero to day one, where a lot of that we can't do anymore. 
because of the brain damage. So up here, and I remember this very vividly. <laughs> you may have seen a video where I talk about physiotherapy and they put a step in front of me and it was like, step up onto the step, see how many steps you can do. And I could get my left foot up there, but I couldn't actually move my right foot. I couldn't get it I couldn't get it off the ground. I could get the heel up, but I couldn't get the toe up. So my brain is frantically sending signals to my right foot to say, up you go, but the brain damage is in the way. And my brain is going, well, I'm sending this signal, but nothing's happening. And over time, it had to learn to route the signal in a different way it, it it didn't learn, did it, on its own? No, because I had to put the work in. I had to keep trying to move that foot in order for my brain to keep firing signals. If I'm just sitting there looking at my foot, waiting for it to uh, miraculously leap into life, it's not going to happen. That would be like the toddler sitting on the ground saying, yeah, I'd love to play football. Let me know. Let me know, brain, when I'm well enough to uh, able to get up and run around and, and kick a football around. <laughs> it's not going to happen. There won't be the development. There won't be the neuroplasticity in order for that particular event to happen. So it's only by me putting all the work in and putting all the effort in and trying and trying and trying and trying and then actually making minor, minor improvements, minor, minor, minor. Ooh, oh, I can get it off the ground a bit. Oh, no, it's come back down again, etc., etc. But it's only by me putting that work in that I build up the new neural connections, the new neural pathways to bypass the, the damaged part of the brain and maybe those new neural pathways aren't as quick, aren't as efficient as the previous ones. So I kind of get some functionality back, but I don't get back to what I had before. And that's very much the case for me with my left hand when it comes to drumming. I'm probably only about 70% there as to where I was before, despite all the effort that I've put in over the last seven and a half years. But it's better than the 5% I probably had on day one. So it's a brain issue, not a muscle issue. And it, it is very easy, from my experience anyway, to look at my right foot, which wasn't moving, and to go, I've got a problem with my right foot. I've got a problem with my left hand. I can't. I've got a problem with my left hand. It's, it's not gripping stuff. No. Because I haven't gone from day zero to day one and lost muscle wastage in my hands or my legs or my feet. You can't lose muscle that quickly. So the issue is in the brain, not in the hand. The issue is in the brain, not in the foot. And I've just realised it wasn't my right foot, it was my left foot. I've got brain damage, what can I tell you? But the issue is unseen it's in the brain the issue isn't in the affected limb but it's easy to think oh the issue isn't even my hand or oh, it's not on my arm or whatever it's a brain issue and it might be that the neuroplasticity the neuroplasticity is limited in what it can do dependent upon the extent and the location of the brain damage so please don't think you're going to get everything back that you had before you might do but you probably won't. So if you were a concert pianist beforehand, you probably won't be a concert pianist afterwards. You might be, but you probably won't be. So you have to kind of recalibrate your expectations as you go. So everything that we do that we're being asked to do by a physiotherapist or we've decided ourselves well, that's what I'm going to try and do everything that we do helps rebuild existing neuro connections or starts new neuro connections depending upon whether 
the root is viable or the root is blocked. And a diversion has to take place. But these neural pathways are only built up by the work that we do, the work that we put in. And it's fine for a physio to massage an affected limb and try and get the limb working. But it's, don't forget, the issue isn't with the limb, it's with the brain. The physio cannot put the signals from our brain to that limb. Only we can do that. So very much the buck stops with us.